the second one is a refracted ray and what is a refracted ray i have already explained you the light ray which refracted it sent back after reflecting from the surface is called a refracted ray the ray the ray of light which uh, which sent which sent back by mirror which sent back by mirror mirror surface okay which sent back by the mirror surface at the point of incidence at the point of incidence is called a refracted ray and what is about the point of incidence point of incidence what is the point of incidence this is called the point of incidence i have explained to you the point at which the light ray incident is called the point of incidence so the point at which the point at which the incident ray the incident ray falls on the mirror falls on the mirror is called the point of incidence okay now about the normal what is about the normal normal i have explained you that the perpendicular from the point of incidence is called the normal so you can write the define here normal perpendicular or we can write the a line a line at right angle at right angle at right angle to the mirror surface to the mirror surface at the point of incidence at the point of incidence is called the normal and next one angle of incidence what is angle of incidence the angle between the incident ray and the normal angle of incidence we represent the angle of incidence by small i angle of incidence angle of incidence the angle sorry the angle the angle between incident ray incident ray and normal is called the angle of incidence and what is about the angle of reflection angle of reflection the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is called angle of reflection the angle between reflected ray and normal is called angle of reflection these are some defines related to the reflection of light okay now what is about the reflection through the plane mirror reflection by the plane mirror now plane mirror in daily uses we maximum use this plane mirror this uh, what is about this plane mirror a uh, mirror which has a straight means uh, it is uh, don't have uh, any curve it is a straight polished surface is called the plane mirror for uh, so, uh, first we have to learn the laws of reflection before this plane mirror we have to learn the laws of reflection okay what is the what are the laws of reflection we know that there are two laws of reflection suppose this is a figure of reflecting a light ray this light ray falls on it and it reflected on its on its own median this is the normal we know that this is incident ray this is reflected ray this is angle of incidence 
and this is the angle of refraction this is the normal and this is the point of incidence so the what are the two laws about the laws of refraction first law according to the first law we know that incident ray refracted ray and the normal lie on the same plane at the point of incidence these all three lines are on the same plane at the point of incidence yahi par hai ye bhi hai yahi par ye bhi hai ye normal bhi si point pe and the according to the second law the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of refraction this is a second law of law of refraction these laws are always uh, followed by all the mirrors like the plane mirror the spherical mirror laws of refraction according to the first law the angle of the angle of incidence the angle of incidence is equal is equal to the angle of refraction angle of refraction and second one is incident ray incident ray refracted ray refracted ray normal all lies on same plane lies on same plane at the point of incidence at the point of incidence these are the two laws about the refraction now we are going to study the plane mirror plane mirror it is a straight mirror don't have any curve and we polish it from its from the one side if we put an object here its image is formed at the same distance these are the two rays we are going to make only the two rays actually these are not the only two rays which are falls on this mirror but, but the all the rays are falls from this object but for our convenience we use these two rays and by making it in backward direction we saw this is the image formation by the plane mirror this is a plane mirror if an object is this is an object it from the image like here this is the image what is about this image the uh, the uh, the image is actually the image we saw in delilia for use the plane mirror so we saw the all the images are erect which is plane by the which is formed by the plane mirror erect means there are the two terms erect and inverted erect means erect means koi cheez seedhi hai agar aap koi cheez seedha dekhte ho to seedha hi dikhta hai isme isko bolte hain this is a erect image and what is about the inverted image अगर कोई चीज़ सीधी है और वो आपको मिरर में उल्टी दिखाई देती है अपोजिट दिखाई देती है रिवर्स दिखाई देती है तो उसको आप बोलते हैं इन्वर्टेड इमेज ओके तो प्लेन मिरर फॉर्म द इवेक्ट इमेज सेकेंड वन द इमेज इज फॉर्म बाय द प्लेन मिरर वी कांट मेक इट ऑन अ स्क्रीन द इमेज विच वी कांट प्रिपेयर ऑन द स्क्रीन आर कॉल द वर्चुअल इमेज देर आर एक्सपेक्ट ऑल्सो आर टू टर्म्स विच आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन डेट इज द वर्चुअल एंड द रियल इमेज वर्चुअल इमेज एंड द रियल इमेज तो वट इज अबाउट द वर्चुअल इमेज द इमेज विच विच वी कांट प्रिपेयर ऑन द स्क्रीन आर कॉल द वर्चुअल इमेज like the plane mirrors forms always the virtual image we can't prepare it on the screen but what is about the real image real image means the image which can be prepared on the screen you can write the define also virtual image the image which can be prepared image which can be prepared which can prepare or uh, which cannot prepare on the screen virtual image which cannot prepare on a screen aap chaho to iski image screen pe nahi bana sakte aur is tarah ki images ko virtual image bolte hain and what is about the real image the image which we can obtain on the screen image which can be obtained which can obtained which can obtained on a screen 
are called the real image so the plane mirror always form the virtual image which we uh, which we can't prepare on the screen second thing is this this image is always erect third one is the distance of the image from the object the distance of the object from the mirror and the distance of the image from the mirror are always equal jitne distance pe aap khade hote hain aapki image bhi utni distance pe form hoti hai okay now next point is this the image formed by the plane mirror is laterally inverted so first we have to understand what is the lateral inversion lateral inversion what is the lateral inversion when we see in the uh, in a plane mirror the right side suppose we are here we are here these are our two hands this is the right one and this is the left one if we saw our image in a plane mirror we saw that the left side appear to be the right and the right side appear to be the left so this type of illusion like the right appear to be left in the image and the left appear to be right in the image it is called the lateral inversion so you can write the define of the lateral inversion the right side right side of object appears to become left side left side of image and left side and left side of object appears right side of image the change the change of sides of object and its in its mirror image and its mirror image is called lateral inversion this is the lateral inversion okay now we can write the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror these are the characteristics characteristics of image formed by plane mirror first point first point the image formed up by play, formed by the plane mirror is always image formed by the plane mirror is erect erect i have also already explained you what is the meaning of erect it means seedhi image banti hai erect and virtual virtual means we can't make the image on the screen we can't prepare we can't obtain the image on the screen it means it is always erect and virtual second one second point you can write the size of the image the size of image is always equal to the size of object the size of image formed by the plane mirror is equal to that of the object that of object ना यहाँ ये इमेज के साइज़ को बड़ा करता है ना ये ऑब्जेक्ट के साइज जो इमेज जो इमेज बन रही है ना उसके साइज़ को बड़ा दिखाता है ना उसके साइज़ को छोटा दिखाता है जितना होता है उतना ही शो करता है ओके नाउ द थर्ड पॉइंट इज द इमेज फॉर्म्ड द इमेज फॉर्म्ड एज फार एज फार बिहाइंड द मिरर behind the mirror behind the mirror as the object as the object is in front of it jitna dur aap object khada karoge utni dur pe uski image banti hai and next one the image formed by the plane mirror is laterally inverted laterally 
inverted i have already explained you what is the meaning of this latent inversion latent inversion means the image formed by this mirror uh, and if we see the image by formed by the plane mirror we saw that our right side appear to be the left and the left side appear to the right in the image and this type of uh, this type of uh, inversion is called the latent inversion okay these are about the plane mirrors and the what is the reflection of light we have learned the reflection of light first we have learned the light what is light what is the nature of the light there are two theories about the nature of the light the wave theory and the particle theory and these two two theories theories mix with uh, each other to form the modern theory uh, which is called the quantum theory of light then we explain then we have study about the reflection of light the, the terms which we use in the reflection of light we have understand these terms about the reflection of light and the next one is the plane mirror how the image is formed by the plane mirror and what is the nature of the image formed by the plane mirror you can also write the uses of the plane mirror and this is about the plane mirror in next video we will study about the spherical mirrors there are two spherical mirror first one this mirror this type of mirror like the spoon if we saw near spoon so the inward portion jaha pe aapko gehra dikhai deta hai this type of mirror we call it like a concave mirror this is a concave mirror and the second the curve mirror the curve mirror which is outward bahar ki taraf ubhra hua hota hai like apne spoon ko opposite ulta kar diya to this type of mirror is called the convex mirror तो नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द कॉन केव एंड द कॉन वेक्स मेरल ओके बाय